Holy sh**, Glenn. How oh is God, it? are you okay? How is it? Oh. Hello and welcome back. Last week we spent pretty much the whole week driving from Perth up the coast to Kalbari explored the whole general area there and really loved our time there. It was so beautiful. Now we have made it to Carnarvon and we are gearing up to go to Red Bluff Campground. It's a place that has been on our bucket list for a very long time. So we just went into the town of Carnarvon, stocked up on fuel, water, groceries, everything. Glenn's currently letting down the tires because we're about to go on about, I think, 60 Ks of dirt road. Vance has never taken <laughs> I've never been on that long of a dirt road. We've taken him on plenty before, but never this long. So fingers crossed, it's a good one. Uh, wind it up, hurry. And Vance killed it. Yeah, Vance smashed it. It's loud, but all tires are intact. The cabinetry is intact. Happy campers right on the beach. Yes. Frothing. scored this spot and I'm so overwhelmed with how beautiful it is like it looks beautiful from photos but the water is a lot bluer than I thought and it's a lot warmer than it's I thought it's so warm it's stunning yeah so warm oh my god and we're here for at least the next four nights and there's no reception it's just heaven really no we snagged this such a good spot yes Frothing. stoked all right just going for a wander out to the famous Red Bluff Point the swell is actually pretty small today, so there's a tiny, tiny little bit of a wave. So we're just gonna have a look and see what it looks like, see what the entry point's like as well. And hopefully we'll get some waves in the coming days. But it is just incredibly beautiful. This whole place is just blowing us away already. All right. <laughs> the flies. The flies are relentless. <laughs> I was gonna be all cute. <laughs> nah. And nice. Aw, but look at this. Look at that view. The price you pay, eh? It's windy. It's, too, it's cool. It's settling down. Look at all these flies. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I set my thing down for one second. How good? How good? Ah. Uh, this is the routine for the next four to seven days, I guess. Woo! Pancake time! Woo. 
before Glennie goes for a big surf. Oh yeah. You excited? Very excited. On the fly, the flies continue. The sun's out. Oh, but to eat this quick, quick, without quick, flies. Oh my quick. God. Yum. Yum. Oh, good surf. Spot of lunch. Now what? <laughs> just enjoy it. This shade is actually amazing though. So we'll probably just set up here in and out of the water. Keep an eye on the surf and just enjoy it. It's beautiful. All right. Stir fry for dinner. Another beautiful day. Good. I'm speechless. <laughs> <laughs> I'm real. We also got some campfire. Or some wood. Some okay. campfire. Some campfire. We bought the campfire. <laughs> we bought some wood to make a campfire tonight because that is just too tempting. So hopefully the wind dies down a bit. Yeah, it gets really windy in the afternoons here. So by that stage though, you're so done with all the sun, you almost want to just like stay inside. So. <laughs> Pretty camp for it to cool off a little. Hopefully the wind dies and a campfire to finish the day. Another beautiful day in paradise. Nice. Nice. Lady? Yes. 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 <laughs> okay, day three. Day three. What are we doing today? <laughs> I don't know. I think there's still, the swell seems to have dropped a bit, but I still, I'm pretty keen to go for a surf early on. And then there's also some pretty nice diving around as well that I think could be fun to check out. So with the swell staying a little bit smaller today, maybe we'll go out around the bluff. Um, there's supposed to be some really nice snorkeling and there's just so much sea life. Like out in the surf yesterday, there were a couple of pods of dolphins came. Uh, we saw the manta ray with the drone, that was really cool. There's just so, it's just so full of life up here in the sea. So yeah. pretty keen to sort of go suss it out with some, with some goggles on, so. Other than that, we don't really have a whole lot planned. It's great. It is great. It's Life actually, in the desert. It's so good. Like this is why we do this van life stuff. Like this is exactly yeah. what we want to be doing. We want to just wake up next to the beach, no plans for the day except to just be outside and enjoy. Yeah, figure it out. Enjoy it. So I'll have these coffees and get on with our day.
Okay, just sit down, sit down. Gorgeous doggy. Just sit down, just sit down, you're fine. Just sit down. process what has just happened so Glenn got out of the water face was running with blood when I first saw it I knew it was really bad but I didn't know how bad and then we started walking back to Vance and I took another look at it and it was really deep but I didn't want to freak Glenn out because I knew that we were a really long way from getting anything fixed he was starting to feel really lightheaded and almost almost passing out and feeling really nauseous. I didn't know what to do. We went back to Vance, started packing things up. I ran to the the people who own the property. And they came and like bandaged him up a little bit, but we had to get him to the hospital. So if you've ever been to Red Bluff, you know how long of a drive and how crazy of a drive it is to get back to Carnarvon. But we had to do that. So, and Glenn had to do that because I'm stupid and I don't know how to drive stick and I thought it wouldn't really matter. And then of course, situations like this. So Glenn is swollen and feeling sick and having to drive two hours to Carnarvon, which is where we are now. And now he's in the hospital and getting stitches. I guess, I don't know, it could have been way, way worse, but it just made me think about like what, what we would have done if it actually was a lot worse than that. I don't know. It's just a lot, a lot to process and a big reminder to always have a somewhat of a safety plan in place, know what you're going to do if something bad happens. Thank God we had first aid kit and everything handy, but <sighs> yeah, we'll see how he's feeling after this and then make a plan of what we do because it's been a big day and I need a shower. Glenn needs to shower. <laughs> oh my God. We made it back, back to Red Bluff. I can't really eat. Or talk a lot because it sort of got at the point of the jaw, so I can't really open my mouth. Finer than this. <laughs> so I got Glenny <laughs> heaps of baby heaps food, of baby food, <laughs> and some chocolate milk that he's gonna live off of for a little bit until we can get you better. Uh, but so we came back to Red Bluff because. We left a lot of stuff here, and we also just want to chill the Relax. next few days. It's beautiful still, it's just a bummer. Yeah. I can't surf, but... Yeah, Glenn's going to have to stay out of the water for a bit until he's all healed, but all in all, <sighs> like, very grateful that yeah. it happened the way it did. It could have been way worse. Way worse. Yeah. Um, we had a couple of guys around the campground that sort of, like, patched me up a bit before then. We obviously went into town. Um, absolute legends as well, so could have been way worse. Not ideal, but I just need to sleep. Yeah. I'm knackered and sore. Yeah, I'm just gonna go straight to bed, I think. But what an afternoon! <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Made it just in time for sunset. Lovely, just lovely. Alright, let's get you to bed. Good morning. Oh, Glenny. How you Hello. doing? I look great. 
Oh my god. Lovely. Safe to say last night was not a very good sleep. No. No, I can't really sleep at the moment. It just yeah. hurts a bit too much. Oh. But. It's okay. We have coffees. Yay. Glenn has his baby food. Yeah. It's a beautiful day again. Yeah, it's beautiful. Very beautiful. So we're just going to take it very, very slow and easy today. Mm. Um, I don't even know what we're going to do. No. We're probably going to actually catch up on a lot of content. <laughs> yeah, we need to, yeah, we need to go to a fair bit of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Cause we're trying to get our YouTube videos out pretty regularly, but... It's hard when we're trying to travel and then the signal's really bad, like there's no signal here, so we can't upload anything. And um, we're trying to get into better better rhythm, but you know, life happens, right? <laughs> Clearly. Yeah. So uh, I think we'll just enjoy these for now yeah. and then see where the day takes us. morning it's been a very interesting and challenging few days it's been like three days i think since the incident um a lot slower than i was expecting and actually a fair bit harder than i was expecting mainly just because i haven't been able to really eat solid food and the sleep's been pretty bad so hasn't been a whole lot to write home about or record sadly so we've just sort of been taking it day by day it's still been really beautiful being here at bluff but haven't exactly been doing anything too exciting. Kendall's been really nice and supportive. We don't want to make this a lot easier for me, but yeah, sadly it hasn't been doing too much crazy stuff. And we also had one day of really dreary weather as well. So we are on the men's though. I've started to eat some um, scrambled eggs with small things in it, which is a big win. So I feel like I'm getting back to normal somewhat. But the swelling is going down a lot. Yeah, it's it going down bad. heaps. It was pretty bad for a couple of days, but now it seems to be going down a lot. So I can kind of open my mouth more. Uh, yes. Um, but it's our last day at Red Bluff. So I guess now we're just having our coffees and then the surf is absolutely pumping like it's huge today so i kind of want to go have a little look at that for our last taste of red bluff for i guess heading back to carnarvon and making our way north making our way north yeah it looks like we're coming into a bit of bad weather as well uh, we've got a few friends we want to meet up with up around Exmouth that we may sort of hang out with and wait the storm out and then after that we'll be able to really start exploring uh the whole Exmouth region which honestly has been like one of the main reasons we even went on this trip in the first place was to explore WA particularly Exmouth and that whole area so so excited oh my god we are so excited so we got a bit of time in the interim hopefully this heals up nicely and then we'll be back doing what we love and enjoying ourselves up at Exmouth yeah. 